Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the dropshipping. Dropshipping is a form of retail business in which the sellers accept the customer order without keeping the stock in hand. Instead of keeping the stock, they do sell the product directly to the customer. So dropshipping has certain advantages like it frees up the warehouse spaces and it reduces the workload, saves time and money as well as it also increases the product catalog. So let's see how can we manage the workflow of product, I mean uh, the dropshipping in Odoo 70. So here we're gonna manage with the dropshipping. In order to manage with the dropshipping, go ahead with the purchase module where you can just navigate into the configuration settings of the purchase module. So dropshipping is the process of delivering the products to the customers directly from the vendor side without keeping the stock. So you have to enable this um, dropshipping under the logistics section, which requests your vendor to deliver to the customer. So afterwards, let's, let's consider the product acquisition block screen. So we have just received an order from the customer Deco Addict um, in order to dropship the item. So you can just move on to the sales module to create the order. Now here you can fill out the details uh, of the customer Deco Addict and you can choose the product. In order to manage with the drop shipping we have to set the route as drop ship under the inventory tab of the product then only we can just deliver the product directly from the vendor side to the customer side without keeping that product in the stock now we also need to designate a vendor so from this vendor we will be uh, delivering the product to the customer deco addict now let's see how we are going to deal with this scenario so you can choose um the quotation that we are dealing with so let's confirm this quotation so as we confirm the quotation that quotation will be considered as a sale order and here you can see that as we have just received an order from the customer deco addict a purchase order will be created here so we have to deal with the purchase order right now so we know that uh, as we receive an order from the customer the order will be taken by the uh vendor wood corner and now let's confirm the order so as we confirm the order now the vendor need to confirm the received date so uh vendor is going to confirm the uh, date you can just confirm that so the date uh, of the expected arrival of the product is confirmed by the vendor right now now here you can see that we cannot create a bill directly right now after performing the dropship only we can create the bill for the purchase order so now, now let's um yeah, dropship the item without keeping the product in the stock. We know in the usual case of the, uh, I mean, uh, purchasing of the item, we would confirm the order and receive the items in the stock. But in case of dropship, we won't keep the stock in the item. Instead of that, we will be directly uh, sending the product from the vendor side to the customer side upon the um, confirmation of the order of the customer. So we have just uh, done the drop shipping. Now you can just move on to the purchase order and you can create the vendor bill right now. Uh, you can confirm the order. So we haven't set the bill date. Uh, so here we need to set the bill date, which is mandatory. You can confirm the bill and you can request uh, for the payment. So we are going to make the payment. So after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. Now you can just move on to the sale order that we are dealing with and we are going to confirm uh, or create the invoice. So let's create the invoice for this and we will be generating a regular invoice. And uh, currently you can see that we have just generated a draft invoice. So upon the confirmation of the invoice, uh, the invoice will be posted and we can request for the payment from the customer side. And after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. So uh, from this, we can understand that it is very uh, easy to man manage with the drop shipping and drop shipping has many advantages such as uh, managing with the product catalog or it frees up the warehouse spaces as well as it also deals uh, with the workload and time consumption. So drop shipping is one of the best way to sell the product directly from the vendor to the customer without keeping the stock in the inventory. So hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.